First reading, a reading from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 24, verses 17 to 25. After the death of Jehoiada, the princes of Judah came and paid homage to King Joash. And the king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols, and because of this crime of theirs, Wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Although prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord, the people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, Why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you. But they conspired against him, and at the king's order they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Then King Joash was unmindful of the devotion shown him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came up against Joash. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Through the Aramean force came with few men. The Lord surrendered a very large force into their power. Because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, so punishment was meted out to Joash after the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering. His servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Chapter 6 verses 24 to 34 Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you, that not even Solomon, in all his splendor, was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord When we are invited for a wedding, or a function, or a birthday party, the first and foremost thing that would come to our mind is, what would I wear? 
what would I wear? Then I would phone up to my friends and ask them, what are you wearing for this wedding or for this function? How do I go? How do you go? Where do you go for shopping? And we are so worried about our outer appearance and what do I wear for that function? Function. And if we get what in my mind is, if I, if I have that, then I would be so much happy. But if I do not get what I want, then what would happen? I would look sad. Therefore, today Jesus brings up a very important teaching that he would very directly say, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve God, serve both God and money at one time. No, you cannot do so. Because of what? Because you have to put somebody first. It can be God or else the money. You cannot put the both in the same platter and enjoy it. Enjoy it. And this is how Jesus would rather bring this up very beautifully saying, look at the flowers that would bloom up. Look at the birds, those who are flying in the air. Look at them. They are not worried about anything, but all their worries are being taken care by the Heavenly Father. So Jesus would ask us if these birds and the flowers are being taken care by the Heavenly Father. Would not He care about you because you are the more sublime and the important and the valuable creation that He made? Surely, God will take care of you and me more than anything of this earth would be, my dear friends. And we have not realized it. Therefore, we have not put God first in our lives. We would have not taken the option of serving God at first. Serving God at first. That is why Jesus very beautifully says, Set your heart first on the kingdom and the righteousness of God, and all these things will also be given to you. When we try to seek God, when we try to seek the kingdom of God, when we put him first, what happens? Jesus, he promises us that God will make you first. If you put God first, God will make you first. Therefore, my dear friends, let us re recollect in our lives today, what are the important things in my life? Who is the first in my life? Who or what has taken the first step or the first place in my life? If the answer is God, fine and well, keep it up. If your answer is something else, something, uh, something other than God, then let us try to make God and put him first and to serve him first. And the other things will follow on.